so the next command i will discuss is test test command in shell script in shell script so normally this uh, test command in uh, shell script is used for uh, checking text expressions means uh, so for uh, checking the numbers equality checking uh, checking the uh, file file existence okay so checking the numbers uh, the relation between two numbers okay so for doing all such kind of operations you can make use of test command so the test command is going to check a logical expression so if the logical expression is going to return true so it is going to return zero otherwise it is going to return a non zero value means zero indicates true non zero indicates false so especially for comments experience logical expressions uh, testing we can use this uh, test command in linux operating system based on the test execution means uh, either it may return true or false so uh, if the expression returns zero zero indicates true and non zero indicates uh, false okay just have a look just i pro i have written one program on this condition so the procedure is like this i have reading i have been reading two numbers uh, the first number i am storing in n1 second number i am storing into n2 if test dollar n1 greater than dollar n2 that is same as exactly same as if dollar n1 gt dollar n2 okay it is exactly same but we don't require any brackets over there if test dollar n1 gt dollar n2 that is exactly same as if within uh, square brackets we say dollar n1 minus gt dollar n2 test dollar n1 gt n2 then echo n1 is the biggest number l if test dollar n2 is greater than n1 then dollar n2 is bigger else means suppose two numbers are equal so in such case we use what no comparison between two numbers okay so like this we can have test command in linux operating system see the execution procedure first thing is save this file execute this sh test expression dot sh so first i am giving 56 second number i am giving as 78 so 78 is the biggest number or bigger number second case one second i will execute this 78 and 56 78 is the biggest number i will give two numbers equal see what happens 56 and 56 no comparison between two numbers are you can print a message that two numbers are equal this is about test command <coughs> now using test command you can have file type also you can check file type means so you can check whether the given file is whether it is a normal file or a directory and if it is a directory or file and you can also check whether it is readable means read only file or readable file or executable file so you can have so such kind of uh, file type and directory and file existence by using test command also see this test meaning if minus s file non empty file we can use like this if minus if test minus s file means if it is a non empty file we can check like this we can write like this if test minus s minus s dollar file then we can say that the file is a non empty file means we can it is going to check whether the given file is empty or not okay next our uh, next uh, thing is if minus f you can say dollar file means you can check whether it is a normal file and it is a with normal file or not 
so if it is a normal file it will return true otherwise it return false so in the same way you can check it if minus d dollar file means you can you can means you can check whether it is a directory or not next one if minus w minus w iphone w sorry iphone w dollar file means it is go going to check whether given file is writable or not means are we able to write the data or not next if minus r it will check whether a file is read only read only next if minus x it is going to check whether this is dollar file x minus x dollar file means it will check whether the file is executable or not now just we will write on program see how the program can be written by using the test command vi file test dot sh <coughs> clear echo enter the file to be checked read file if test minus s dollar file then you print a message that echo dollar file is non empty check it f5 sh i will first i will give one name okay i will execute this file test dot sh same file name i will give file test many files are there just i will give one file name sh file test dot sh t1 i will give t1 is not empty okay and next i will use another one vi file check or file test 1 dot sh echo enter the file to be checked read file i will test it if test minus f if it is a file dollar file then say then echo display message the given is a file elif test if it is a directory minus d dollar file then echo the given is a directory close it else
the given is not a file or directory it does not exist ये फाइल एस एच फाइल टेस्ट फाइल नेम सपोज टी वन एंड ऑफ फाइल जिस्ट आई विल चेक वॉट इज एर फाइल टेस्ट वन Double quotations close. T one. The given is a file. Suppose I will give, I will try to give a directory name. Suppose test is a directory. This I will give this sh file test one dot sh test. Given is a file. Huh? I will give different directory name. Mm, ls. Just you check it. Test dir. Sh file. Test one dot sh. Test dir. Given is a directory. Suppose I will give another one. S H file test one dot S H. I will give something like L L L L. The given is not a file or directory. <coughs> so in the same way, you can check whether a given uh, item, given the item, is existed or not. by using minus a option just you check it so using read command echo command enter a file to be checked that is checked enter a file to be checked enter a file to be checked read file if test minus c dollar file then echo the given one is given one is existed otherwise Given one not existed means by using minus e option we can check whether the given uh, uh, thing given given one means may, maybe it is file or directory given entity is found or not okay if test minus e existence dollar file then the given one existed else the given one is not existed <coughs> just you check it. See ls is there here. Just I will show ls ls uh, t1. Sorry, not ls. Ls minus l t1. T1 is there. T1 is a normal file. It is having read per read write permission for user group and read permission for others. Just you execute this. Sh check dot sh. I am giving t1. The given one is existed. Next. i will check once again i will give something like some some name okay the given one is not existed here i will write one more uh, if condition here if test minus f dollar file then echo the given one is a file else 
I will say echo the given one is a directory. This is nested if if condition within another if condition. T1 is a file test directory it is a directory sh I will give some other which does not exist the given one is not existed means what is the logic here very simple logic very simple logic I have used here first the file which you want to check will be stored in file variable if test e means existence okay if a dollar file so if dollar file is existed then i am checking one more condition then if test minus f f means if it is a file if it is a file by using minus f option we can check whether it is a file or directory means if it is if you, you if you are using minus d it is a directory if you are using minus f means it is a normal file if test minus f dollar file then echo the given one is a file else the given one is not a directory means so this one F5. This sequence will be excluded. Else, so this else comes under this main if. Else, the given one is not existed. Means that if the first it is going to check whether the given item is there or not. If the given item is there, further it is going to check whether it is a file or directory. Okay, file or directory. So if it is a file and if it is existing, it is going to print a message that the given one is a file. Otherwise, the given one is not a given one is a directory <coughs> one second I will execute this check dot sh t1 is there it is a file okay i will check it ls minus l t1 like this so i will check one more thing test directory test di dir is a directory Test directory. Okay, it is a directory. Okay, because of that, it has uh, been displayed with blue color. Okay, a T1 is a T1 is a file. Test dir is a directory. Just I will execute this. Sh check dot sh. I will say first T1. The given one is a file. Once again I will execute this. Sh check dot sh. It is test now this uh, the, this time I will give directory name. Now it is going to check whether it is a directory. So as it is a directory, a message the given one is a directory will be displayed. So once again I will give uh, for checking a non-existent file. sh check dot sh something like a new name I will give the given one is not existed okay this is about test command